high were the American standards. I'm Michael Sathy. Um, I play drums. I play the uh, bass here. My name is Matt Berger. I play uh, I play the six fingered giddle fiddle, and uh, I also yell a lot. All right, my name is Dave Watkins, and I play the guitar. Um, started a while ago. It's all Matt's fault, really. Late 2000 beginning of my sophomore year. Um, actually, the summer before that, I've been sitting around watching um, cartoons with uh, one of those friends, uh, Thomas uh, Cook. And um, we just decided, I was, I was just touring around, my mom, my mom bought a guitar that she got, and like, so much from the family. And I was touring around, and I was like, hey, this sounds really cool. And then we just kind of joked around, and I said, hey, why don't you get a bass, and I'll get a real guitar, and we'll form a band. And I was like, we talked about it. So I'm, you know, like, late, late in the summer, I'm just kind of sitting there. Relaxing, and uh, I get a call from Thomas. I pick up some of the it's like, yeah, I bought my bass. Can you get me a guitar? So uh, I went out and bought my guitar the next day, and we formed a band. Uh, I got to know Matt through theater, drama, and then I realized I was starting to play drums. I wasn't very good, but I started. I hadn't had any lessons. I still don't take any. I was just teaching myself. And Matt was just wondering if I could sing. And I said I could try. Apparently, I had a voice. I guess. Uh, well, I joined the band. Like the rest of the guys had already formed the band, and then like we had this whole battle of the bands thing coming up at our school. So I was like, "Hey, I'll make you a deal. How about I join your band?" And then, like, I think it's Matt while he's on the toilet. Normally it's all Matt. Um, every once in a while Matt and I have collaborated. Not too many things. And same thing with him and Dave. Uh, but most of it's Matt. Uh, like most of the papers lying around here are lyrics that he'll think of and he'll etch down somewhere. He always needs paper. If you notice his arms are normally covered in writing, most of them are lyrics. I write the lyrics. I, I am the lyricist of the band. Um, uh, I'm just kind of repeating myself. Sometimes I'm like, well, I'm going to write a song about uh, uh, Obi-Wan being dead. And I wrote a song called Obi-Wan is dead. And other times I'll just start writing out words for the line and uh, just kind of throw them away or something else. And it's all in the mood. It's just it's taking poetry and turning it into music. I don't remember the lyrics and the chords. I don't do that. I, uh, <laughs> I remember the chords, hopefully, because uh, it's kind of hard not to you know, uh, write music. Uh, every time except the last time we played um, at the Blizzard Blast at uh, uh, the high school. Um, I, I've had I've had one of my friends um, sit from the mic with a little like you know hold up my lyric sheets you know up in front of me and I'll be looking down while I play you know and singing them. I've always done that because it's uh it's just it's just a matter of I don't have enough time in the world. I mean I'll, I I write I write too many songs to remember them all. And that sounds so jaded and stupid. And I'm sure there'd be musicians who listen to this and go, oh, oh, you know, you should remember your lyrics. You're not a real musician. It's like, I'm sorry. I do, I do too many things, you know? I'm not a musician for remembering my own damn lyrics. And I'm fun for that. I'm just, I'm happy. I'm having fun and I'm doing what I'm doing. But, uh, yeah, there are too many of them. Words are hard. Words are too I should stick to them. So Matt writes the lyrics and, uh, He's kind of like Mr. Uh, I have a big book of lyrics and I'm going to use them for songs that I write. And so he has like, total control over the lyrics. The fact that like half half of us are graduating next year, this year, this year. Um, you know, I'd want to continue it, but I don't know. I mean, like after after this upcoming summer, it's like I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where Tom's going. I'm going to be somewhere else. And it's just it, it's it's the kind of band that I think we uh, hung out together long enough to do something for the day, to do something to try to do that. So, I mean, like Dave, Dave sounds like he's kind of doing it. Uh, Thomas, well, Thomas, that's good. And, um, and me, I can. I like taking money from other people's 
so it's a good work. I don't know. It's just a big waste of time. I mean, in a good way, you know. All the extra time I have, you know, gives me something to do. Stay out of trouble, as my mom says. And uh, it's fun. That's about all I look for is fun, something to do. Um, just have fun and rock out. I think that's the goal of the American Standards. We've gone through so many so far, uh, all being Matt's fault. They're like, what's your name? And he makes it up on the spot. So far, we've been uh, stuck with the American Standards. I think he saw that while he was on the toilet, but I'm going to leave that all up to him. Um, the rest of the band had came up with it prior to the toilet day. And basically, it's from toilets. Yep. It's so many different stories. It's funny because we were, um, I'm taking, okay, here's the simplest thing you can do, all right? I'm taking a pee one day, right? All right? So I'm taking a pee. And, you know, I'm relaxing. Because you, know, you have to relax take a pee. Well, let's not get into that, all right? So, you know, I look at the back of the toilet, and there on the back of the toilet is, you know, American Standard Company, Standards of America, or whatever, you know? And I'm cracking up, you know, that, that someone, you know, that, that someone had told me that a long, long time ago, I'm thinking about it, so kind of, you know? And so, uh, at the time, the band was named Half Past Nine, which I, I don't know if you know, it's, uh, it's really that name, you know? So anyway, we, we were adding a new guitarist anyway, Dave. We had Dave in the band, and, um, and uh, we decided, oh, well, we have to rename the band now. So we named it The American Standards. And then I was like, no, 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 no. I want everyone to know that we're The American Standards. Not The American Standards or An American Standard. It's the American Standards. We put double E in there, so it's T-H-E-E, so everyone has to say B. And I think you're saying three, so we think it's a typo, and it always gets changed in papers and stuff, but it's fun. <laughs> Um, how many hours a night when we are practicing? Uh, I think it averages out to about 30 seconds a night per school year, but uh, but when we are actually practicing, it can go anywhere from like uh, if Southie's being moody, about an hour. But um, if we uh, we actually we uh, we love when we jam and we're having fun, um, up to like four hours, five hours sometimes. Especially when we're like pressed for time. There's an occasional lap. Oh yeah. What day is the Battle of the Band? You know? <laughs> Tom, you're on that one. <laughs> Do we care? <laughs> really now? <laughs> we'll, we'll find out in a little bit. Yeah. It's coming up. Yeah. We'll find out and then we'll be like, oh yeah, Battle of the Band, so we'll have to like practice or something like that. Basically, uh, a bunch of bands get together and, uh, May the best band win. It's not us, but we give it our shot. Battle of um, bands in our school, and it's uh, it's part of the LA Festival, which is um really stupid. It's, it's a knockoff of the HF Festival. The thing is, is that the HFS call letters are HF Festival. Festival. Ours is Chestival. I don't want to get into the, the, the terms I could go into there, but we're apparently, they, people think it's cool, so we're the LHS festival, that's what we're doing. And part of the LHS festival is like carnival stuff, and there's a battle of bands, um, and uh, you just keep playing your band. Battle wise, I don't know. Do you guys have jobs? <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I, I, I work for Fairfax County Public Schools. <laughs> oh, he's serious, right? Yeah. That's right. yeah. I'm presently I get, searching. I get, I get paid. Yeah, he's searching. I, I don't want a job. I'm lazy. It's all get out. What would be the most ideal job? Uh, the ideal job? Touring. <laughs> Love the tour. Yeah, we'd be playing as a band together somewhere. That'd be the ideal job for us as a group. Personally, my ideal job is uh, yeah. I'm rock. Probably go to college, try and look smart, keyword try. Uh, and then go on from there. Probably go something with computers. 
so that I can sit on my butt and do nothing all day. I do want to direct or something like that. I do want to do something like that. I'm a big boy. What I want to do when I'm a big boy is... I have no idea. I, um... I want to, uh... I want to make Barbie dolls. And send them to Somalian kids. That's what I want to do with my life. And if not, I want to be a professional, um... Uh, ad man, you know, find ways to put products in certain areas to show how great and, and refreshing certain, certain things can be. Mm, that's really good. Hey, uh, this is the bunny song. Talk to the camera the whole time. <laughs> hey, camera. You, um, who writes the lyrics and how do you come up with them? You just answered your own damn question. Uh, my name is Dave. Do you want my full name? <laughs>